Hello everybody and welcome back to a, another video with BlizzCon only a couple of days away. Today I want to talk about my expectations, thoughts, predictions, all that type of stuff for what we may get at BlizzCon for Overwatch and Overwatch 2 specifically, of course. But Overwatch is a, a brand, so you know, there's always possibility of other stuff uh, coming out. So I'm going to start by talking about the things that we know we are getting. Um, and I'll give you some of my kind of guesses or um, predictions on what those things will entail based on the information that we know about. And then I'm going to go into a couple of things that I kind of hope we get to see uh, based on the future. Things that I'd like to see at the event. You know, it's the first in-person BlizzCon in several years. It's the first one since the Microsoft acquisition that that's so recent that I don't think that will have a huge footprint here. I think it'll be a thing that's mentioned, but... Um, you know, I think it's something that will be kind of talked about. Uh, and then I want to kind of throw out that when I'm talking about the things that I, ex or that I hope we get, or that I want, I'm not expecting most of these, if any of them. Um, I just figured I would just throw out some of the things that I'd like to see, um, and some of this is more of a, even if it's not for the immediate future, uh, it could be for the, um, kind of going into the, the next year, the types of things that I hope they talk about um, going forward. Let's start with things that we know what to get. Luckily, uh, we got an article on the Overwatch website. I talked about it in my last uh, video talking about the World Cup, but if you did not see that, I will link to the article in the description. But last week, they posted an article, Overwatch 2, what to expect at BlizzCon 2023. And so... They have a list of things here. So I'm just going to kind of run down those things and talk about uh, those and kind of go through my thoughts as we get there. So the first thing they have is, of course, BlizzCon 2023 opening ceremonies. That is November 3rd at 11 a.m. Pacific. That's at the BlizzCon Arena. And so they say here, alongside exciting announcements from World of Warcraft, Diablo 4, Hearthstone, and Warcraft, Rumble... Overwatch 2 has a few surprises in store, including introducing the next hero. So we know for a fact that we are getting the new hero at the opening ceremony, as well as, quote-unquote, a few surprises. Uh, so potentially other things as well there. But at the very least, we know the opening ceremonies will have a new hero. I'll talk a little bit more about some of the, uh, what I hope some of those surprises are later, but... At the very least, we know that the very beginning of the opening ceremonies will get to meet the new hero. Most likely, that means we'll get the kind of uh, cinematic trailer for the character, um, or the gameplay cinematic for the trailer, or potentially um, some other kind of cinematic for them. But most likely, that's what it'll be, some kind of gameplay trailer to show them off is usually kind of what we get there. It also could be the backstory trailer for them. They said they're going to put that in a later panel, but they also could show it again. They, they sometimes show those twice, depending on what it is. Of course, Overwatch World Cup Finals will be going on this weekend. It's currently ongoing for the group stages, but the top eight uh, will be competing live, you know, in person at the World Cup Hall all weekend long, November 3rd and 4th. So the top eight teams will see them participate shaken up to be an interesting top eight as things stand now. It's not fully locked up yet, but it's looking interesting. If you are at BlizzCon, there will be developer meet and greets all weekend long at the Overwatch Hall. Uh, so that's something that's interesting to you. Uh, you can have them sign it. What not? If you're not there, you know, a little bit different, but it is what it is. I mentioned that there was another panel uh, that there was going to be talk about. Uh, the new hero, this is where it comes in. So November 3rd at 2.30 p.m. Pacific, that's 5.30 p.m. Eastern, for all you Eastern degenerates like me, that is at the BlizzCon Arena, uh, if you are there. But here is where they say that they will talk about the art, backstory, and abilities of the newest hero, including the premiere of their origin story cinematic. So I don't think their origin story cinematic will play at the... Um, opening ceremony because of this. I don't, I don't think they will. It's not 100% off the table. Sometimes they, they do show it twice, but I think they, they really likely won't. We'll probably see a gameplay trailer or even just a little tease for the character. Um, 
but we'll definitely meet them at the opening ceremony, but we'll see them a lot more here uh, in the new hero deep dive. I think we all have theories on who this new hero is. I think Mauga seems like the most likely character. Um, I will throw out something which is, is a pretty obvious take. I don't think this is a, a shocker to say this, but the way I look at it, the new hero is either Mauga or it's a character that they literally created since Mauga has been um, introduced. I don't think there's any other pre-existing character in the lore that we have met yet that could be the next hero that people would be satisfied with if it's not Malga. It, it feels very similar to, like, the way Doomfist was introduced, right? Like, Doomfist was kind of a character that they knew they had to make, but they really struggled to figure out how to get him right for a time. If, if my memory serves me correctly, Doomfist's release was a little before my uh, I started playing Overwatch, so I don't fully remember everything about Doomfist's release, but I do remember stuff that, like, Doomfist was a bit of a challenge for them because... They had this idea for him, and they knew he was kind of the big bad, the villain of Overwatch. But the idea of kind of putting him in was a little more difficult than they had originally thought it would be. And getting him right was a little more difficult, and so that's why it took a, lot, a little while to get him out. So, to me, it feels kind of similar with, that, with Malga, where they straight up told us that Malga was going to be Sigma, right? Like, the original intention was for Malga to be Sigma, and then they just felt like the hero of Sigma and the personality of Malga, the character of Malga, were not in line, and so they they changed it so that Malga was no longer uh, going to be Sigma, and that instead a new character was Sigma, and so that is what they did instead. So we'll see what happens uh, with this hero, but like I said, I think it's probably Malga, and then if not, we will be shocked. But they just added the Samoa map, it kind of makes sense. Feels like there's a lot of teases about Malga, so it feels like it should be him, but it is BlizzCon. They might go for a big surprise, but we know it's a tank, uh, so that's really where I, I fall on that. The next Overwatch 2 panel is on November 4th at 1.30 p.m. Pacific, and that is the Overwatch 2 What's Next panel. And here they say that they will explore things about Season 8 and beyond. Uh, first look at future changes for competitive play and even bigger surprises that we can't wait to reveal. So they keep they keep going on these even bigger surprises. You know, we don't know exactly what those are going to be, which is why I'm pretty sure some of my hopes for this um, over uh, BlizzCon are, are possible. You know, we'll get into those in a second. There's a community night November 4th. Uh, you know, that's just kind of the, the final big event that they have there and then of course there's the live performance by Lay Seraphim on November 4th at 6 15 p.m pacific they wrap it up with Lay Seraphim which hey they'll probably play the music video there maybe buy your skins you haven't bought them yet I haven't gotten them yet um but those are the things that we know we are getting at BlizzCon this year uh those are the kinds of topics we can expect um so It'll be interesting to kind of see what they do. I think that this, when it comes to Season 8 and the competitive updates, I'm curious to kind of see what Season 8 is. You know, Season 8 will be kicking off here in, what, about like a month? Uh, early December is when it kicks off. So it'll be the, the season around the holidays. Last year was the Greek God theme. This year, they're seemingly going a little more thematic with the Halloween theme, because last year... Uh, of course, that was when the game first came out, so they didn't really want to do, I think, a full Halloween theme. They did that, like, cyberpunk theme, and they did some Halloween stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get a more uh, holiday-themed battle pass next year. This year, was kind of, this year, they're kind of doing, like, a Diablo-themed battle pass, um, but we'll see. But I am a big fan of Christmas, and I am very excited for what we could get for that. I, don't, I really don't have any predictions for what the theme could be, but... We'll see. I, I'm interested in what it might be. Competitive changes? I honestly don't know. I have not even been keeping track of what they've been saying. I imagine there will be some changes to the way that uh, ranks work. Maybe they bring SR back in some capacity. I don't really know. Um, I think it's possible we see stuff like that. I, I have absolutely no idea, though. It, it's For me personally, I don't play enough competitive to really care about the changes they're making to the system. 
um, I just don't really um, find myself ever really jumping into competitive as a, as a huge part of what I do when I play Overwatch. Um, I enjoy Overwatch as a game. I don't enjoy <laughs> uh, trying to climb up a leaderboard. That is not my reasoning for liking Overwatch. So that is not really what I am in it for. I enjoy the game. I enjoy the, everything around the game, the esports and all that type of stuff. Um, I don't really feel like I have a desire to, to, to play a lot of competitive. But if the competitive changes are good, maybe that is something that helps kind of bring me into the game again. Who knows? That's, that's kind of it for the things that we know to expect at BlizzCon. So let's jump into some of my hopes for things that we get at this BlizzCon. Like I said before, this is the first in-person BlizzCon in several years, so I am hoping that at least one of the games goes all in and does something big. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Overwatch. I don't expect it to be Overwatch, considering they were the team um, they had a release last year. I was reminded recently, I didn't, I completely forgot about this, but I was reminded recently that there is a new IP that Blizzard has been working on, like a survival game, that we've seen nothing from. So I think if there's going to be a big reveal, that feels like the thing that they would most likely push for uh, at this event. But I suppose we'll see in time. I think the number one thing I want, and I, I think there's a very real possibility we get it when you consider just the trends of past BlizzCons and the fact that they keep saying they have all these surprises in store, I hope we get a new cinematic. We haven't gotten one in a little while. Uh, the Sojourn one was the last one we got. I guess it was a, wasn't that long ago. That was, what, back in August or July, you know, around whenever they were doing the gear up towards the uh, story missions. So I think it's very possible we could get a new cinematic. I don't think it's off the table. They typically have a new cinematic at BlizzCon. That's usually when one of the cinematics comes out. We know that Sojourn one, at least it was in the works for a long time. It's, it feels like the Sojourn one may have been finished for a long time. They just were waiting to release it before the story missions because it's so linked to the story missions. Um, you know, it's like literally leads into the story missions, and that's why they, you know, had to release it when they did. So, I do think there's a real possibility that there is a cinematic that's ready. It could be tied to Malga. It could be tied to any other hero. Um, it could be tied to the future story missions as well, which would be interesting. And it's why I think I would be interested in a Zenyatta one in particular, because the end of the most recent story missions you know, kind of had the, the, the reveal of Talon rolling up on Zenyatta. Um, and so I think it would be interesting if that's what the next one we get is. When you consider just all the stuff we've gotten about uh, the, the Omnics recently, of course, with Null Sector, but also with the, what was the little anime three-part thing? I don't even remember what it was called at this point in time. I feel so, I feel, I honestly have erased the, the name of that from my memory. Um, but, you know, that was all about kind of the Omnic Crisis and, and the creation of the Iris and all that stuff. So I think a Zenyatta short would be cool. It feels like they're kind of building up towards that. And like I said, considering where things left off at the end of the story missions, it feels like a good way to kind of build up hype for the next bit of story missions, which is what I think uh, is the next thing I want to kind of get information on is... I want a trailer on the future story missions, at the most a trailer, at the least just kind of, uh, you know, talking about what we can expect. There was a clip from BlizzCon online in 2021, I believe it was, like early in the year in 2021, where they were talking about some of the story missions and they showed some footage. And there was a clip of Genji coming in and saving Zenyatta from Talon, so it feels like that is going to be the first mission we get is uh, Genji, Zenyatta, and then some other heroes as well. You know, we'll see who it is. Um, probably Winston. Um, and someone else. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll choose a lot. I don't know. Um, maybe you have to have Zenyatta and Genji, but beyond that, you have options. I don't know. But the point is, I think we'll get that as our first mission back. And so maybe 
this cinematic will tie into that and then we'll get more information on our next batch of missions we know we're not getting them until next year so they're not going to be in season eight but they could be in season nine or season ten um and you know they could reveal basically here's our plan for how we're going to do missions going forward how we're going to kind of change our, our strategy based on what we've seen so far but i want information on the future story missions i want information on what we can expect the next time we get story missions because i think that is one of the most important parts of the game one of my favorite parts of the game and something i want to see uh some some new content for another thing i think we'll probably get something of uh, we were already supposed to have it um but they announced it was gonna be delayed uh, is information on the roadhog rework we were supposed to have it on the mid-season patch they couldn't get it out by the mid-season patch they're still they're presumably finishing it up i wouldn't be surprised if that's one of the things that people can play at blizzcon um, or we'll get a preview of at blizzcon i don't honestly care that much about it other than the fact that i am a roadhog hater in every <laughs> way and so i'm excited about the potential of just not having to deal with roadhog anymore uh, that excites me so that's what i'm most uh, intrigued by with uh with the roadhog rework but i think we'll at least get a mention of it we know it's coming soon so it's not the biggest deal uh but i at least would like to get some information on it because we don't really know much about it next i want news on future collaborations uh obviously we had the one punch man collaboration back in season two uh and since then we really haven't had much of anything uh until this past like month where we got the diablo stuff and of course the lay seraphim collaboration um you know we had lego back in the day there were some other blizzard themed skins back in the day so we haven't really gotten anything major um on the front especially gaming related like non-blizzard related stuff since we got those uh one punch man ones and now the lay seraphim stuff so i'd like to get a little bit more information on what we can expect on like some future collaborations now that they've been acquired by microsoft there's a lot of kind of options there there's a lot of opportunities there minecraft uh master chief with you know halo stuff you know bethesda whatever there's a bunch of different options now because of the microsoft acquisition that are probably a lot easier than they were before so I'd like to get some kind of look at some future collaborations, maybe a tease about some future collaborations. I don't think we will. I think they're going to try to keep that stuff in wraps, uh, you know, kind of close to their chest until the time is right to reveal them, until they're ready to come, uh, you know, and be released. But I think that it would be nice to at least get some looks at it. But because we're in the middle of the Lay Seraphim one right now, I don't think we're going to get anything uh, on that front. Uh, this one, but I would like it quite a bit. The next two are ones that I absolutely do not expect uh, to get any reveals for at BlizzCon, but I figured I would just kind of put them in there because I think they're things that, generally speaking, I care about, and I'd like to at least get some knowledge about where we're going uh, in the future. One of the ones that I have here is roles of the upcoming heroes in the game. If you recall, uh, you know, back around when, I think it was when they released the either either when junker queen was being released in the beta or when the game released they said that the next they were like we're gonna have one of each new role at launch and then the next four heroes are gonna be two tanks and two supports we're not doing another damage hero for the next four heroes and then we got ramatra life weaver ilari and then whoever the tank we're gonna get announced this weekend so we've gotten now all four of those those heroes. We know what those are. So I personally would like if they kind of give us a, a, a rough, loose roadmap of what we can expect for the roles of the next few heroes. And that's kind of a general, you know, in the what to expect and what's to come. I'd like a loose roadmap for maybe the next two seasons more firmly and the next three seasons kind of loosely of like, all right, you know, if you remember back... There was a, you know, several seasons ago, they released a roadmap prior to the invasion stuff. Like, I think it was in season three or four they released it. I want to say season three. And they basically said, here's what you can expect in season five, and se or season four and five and six. I think it was season four, actually. And they basically said, here's what season five is going to be. Here's what you can expect in season six. And this is some of the stuff we have going on in the future. 
now we're in season seven, right? Give us a little rough little roadmap and say, okay, season seven's this stuff. Here's what season eight's going to be. And then here's kind of what we are hoping to do in season nine and beyond, right? Like looser stuff like that. I'd kind of like, and one of the things I would like for them to do is say, all right, there's going to be a new hero in season eight. We know that's going to be the case. Maybe you go season 10, expect a new hero in this role, right? Is it a damage hero? I wouldn't be shocked. It's been a little while since we've had a new damage hero. I'm okay with them doing another new damage hero, considering we have had several new heroes since Sojourn. We've had, technically, I would argue, three tanks and three supports since since Sojourn was given to us in the first beta. We've had Junker Queen, Kiriko, Ramatra, Lifeweaver, Ilari, and then the next tank. So just kind of some information on, on what roles we can expect for the next hero or two would be nice. Uh, but because we're getting a new hero announced at BlizzCon, I'm, I'm pretty uncertain about that happening. I, I doubt we're going to get any information like that, but it would be nice to get something like that. And then finally, and this is the thing I am 95% certain we will hear nothing about. Um, I'd love to hear something about the future of Overwatch Esports and the Overwatch League. I, I don't think we will. I think it's unlikely that they say anything about it. It, it feels very much like the kind of thing that that's really the Overwatch League uh, in their place to say, not Team 4. Um, and I think that if there is any news about it at BlizzCon, I, I would be shocked because it just feels like something that we're going to get some kind of bit of information on it. Things seem pretty bleak. You know, the Hangzhou Spark just announced they're, they're dropping uh, for the time being. The London Spitfire dropped their whole roster. A bunch of teams are dropping their rosters. It's just to be expected, but... Um, it, it feels like we don't have any real reason to think we're going to get any news right now. I think they're just going to focus on the World Cup and focus on that being the esports event for the year right now. And then in the future, they'll get us where they need it. You know, they'll, they'll give us the news when we need to. I don't think we're going to hear anything until sometime next year. Um, I think with the holidays coming up, you know, you're, you're getting into the part of the year where things seem to move slower. Uh, because people's lives are a lot busier, especially in the U.S., because you have, you know, we just had Halloween, and then you have Thanksgiving at the end of November, and then it goes basically straight into Christmas and New Year's, and it's a very kind of busy, you know, month and a half, uh, two-month period. So, yeah, I, I don't really think we're going to see much in that front, because I think it's kind of the, the slow time now uh, where things are going to be announced at BlizzCon, and then we're not going to really hear much. Uh, for, for a couple months. So that's only my take on that. Uh, I'd love to hear about the esports future, but I don't think we will. That's all, though, really, I have for today. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on Overwatch at BlizzCon, the things you hope we get, things you think we'll get, anything like that. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video and want more like it in the future, consider liking and subscribing. Definitely have more to talk about in uh, terms of BlizzCon stuff. Uh, so Expect something, hopefully Monday, just kind of recapping what we got at BlizzCon and giving you my thoughts on it. And then also, uh, still got some World Cup content coming, so we're not done quite yet uh, with that. But that's going to be all for me for today. Thank you all once again. I hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy. And until next time, bye-bye.